Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. The mental health sector has been struggling due to inadequate financing on the part of government. Currently, mental health care is not absorbed by the National Health Insurance Scheme, putting pressure on caregivers and families caring for relatives with mental health conditions. In the following report, Tanko Mohamed Rabiu explores the challenges of accessing mental health care in the Bulsa North District of the Upper East Region. Alhassan Ayanu Seinu is a community mental health officer who was posted to the district in 2012 and has since provided medication, food, clothes and psychological care to mentally challenged persons. Four out of the 14 mentally challenged persons he cared for have returned home and are currently engaged in vocational ventures. Alhassan Ayanu Seinu, together with our news team, paid a visit to some of his patients. One of them, Aishetu, who hails from Burkina Faso, lives in an abandoned container in Sandema. I was there and then uh, people started calling me that, oh, there's one old lady, a Muslim woman, she will always get up and pray. She will be praying since from morning to evening. She will never sit down. So if I can help. So I decided to come around. So when I came... They say she was not talking, so I just have to buy porridge in the morning. I came, I went down my knees. I know as a Muslim, and as old as she is, she needs that respect. So I used st that strategy, and she opened up, mentioned to me that her name was Aisha too. If I help her, would, would she like to go back home? She said, why not? I said, okay, fine, then I will help you by giving you medication. Will you take? She said, yes. Another patient of Al Hassan, known as Haruna, beats himself up and cuts part of his body when angry. He was in a poor state when Al Hassan first met him. Now Haruna is receiving medical care and is recovering. At the first day I came, that was three years ago. When I came into the market, met him, and I was talking to him. He was he was very wild, looking at me, and people were like, "Hey, don't try this man. He will he will beat you." And I said, "No problem." So I went away. Then the next morning, I got. I came very early, knowing very well that in the morning at that time he he will be hungry. So I decided to buy food. So when I came with the food, I gave him. We collected the food. So I started treatment the third day. And any time I bring the the drugs, the tablets, he takes. I give him what he will take. So it got some time. I realized that he was doing well. Some market women and observers expressed joy on Haruna's progress. Another patient, Kadwa, is a woman in her late 50s at Chuchuliga. She is making progress with treatment, which began after she lost her husband six years ago. Her family has since given her maximum support, making sure she takes her medication on time. Samuel Ngogdem is the Bulsa North District Director of Health Services. We want to ensure that all mental health cases are registered and then want to ensure that they get their medication and uh, making sure some of them that do not have caretakers will support them with uh, food and uh, clothing. And uh, actually one of the mental health officers has actually taken upon himself to take care of uh, about 14 clients that are roaming in the district capital. Meanwhile, Aisha Tu, the Burkina Bay woman under medication, has completed her treatment and has since returned to Burkina Faso. That's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for your time. News 360 returns.